dear students of class 9 you have a practical activity for slide identification of plant tissues like parenchyma and sclerenchyma but i am going to show you the colenchyma tissue as well so what are the requirements for this activity you need a compound microscope and the already prepared permanent slide of parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma so what you have to do is you have to fix the slide on the stage of the microscope and we have to stand in a very well lighted area where natural light is present near the window or you can use artificial light and you have to fix the slide on the stage of the microscope and you have to uh, view the slide and note down the identifying character so what are the identifying character in the theory part you have already studied about the nature of parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma tissues so after you view the slides on the stage of the microscope you have to draw the label diagram and write down the comments for the characteristics that you have seen so you can see here my student is fixing the slide on the stage of the microscope and then he will view under it and note down the features of the parenchyma tissue so at first in parenchyma tissue you will see that the cells are isodiametric that means the cells have a equal length and width and the cells are loosely packed so how do the cells look like they are loosely packed cells and they are isodiametric in nature they have a vacuole central vacuole and a nucleus thus in this figure you can see that parenchyma are living tissues living cells are present with nucleus and cytoplasm and vacuole next uh, type of plant tissue that we are going to study is colenchyma so here i am trying to fix the colenchyma tissue and then we are going to see what type of tissue is colenchyma you can see here it looks almost like this is a colenchyma tissue the colenchyma tissue have irregularly thickened cell wall the cell wall are thickened due to cellulose deposition and the cells look like polygonal next type of tissue that we are going to study is of sclerenchyma now we have to fix the slide on the stage of the microscope and view the slide we can see slightly the sclerenchyma tissue let me adjust and show you the sclerenchyma tissue so what type of tissue is sclerenchyma it is a dead tissue because you cannot see protoplasm in this tissue only the cell wall is present with the large vacuole which is actually not functional and this is called lumen so large lumen along with the cell wall is the sclerenchyma tissue so let us check out how do the cells of the sclerenchyma look like so try to see the slides properly and after you view the slides you note down the observations that you are seeing and then you have to draw the diagram for each of the slides and note down their features so this was all about today's activity of plant tissue simple permanent tissue the next video will be about the animal tissue thanks for watching